He had two strong comments yesterday. I'm going to read both. The first one I totally agree with. He said this Antony Anthony Davis situation's a bad deal. Bad look for the league. Kid can't go out there, give it 100% because he's worried about getting hurt. The Pelicans aren't trying to win. And you see already he's had less than three points in the last few weeks. It's just ridiculous. On that opinion, Charles is right. This is bad for the league. This is not great. I mean, it was always destined to be a little ugly, but it's not good. And I totally agree with him. Let's go to Sir Charles' second comment. I hear all these clowns on TV saying it's great for players getting all this power. What in the world? That appears to be a shot at me. Anyway, let me tell you, you guys, something. Workers are never going to have power over the ownership, ever. It might work for a couple of guys, but in the history of the world, workers don't overtake people who own a business. Charles is also right on that one. I defend players' mobility because I've been mobile and I would be in the air and not defend players' mobility when all I've done is zigzag around the country for commerce. So I support players. But LeBron is a little like Steve Jobs. Remember Steve Jobs, the late Steve Jobs? He was handsome, dynamic, had a personality, witty, funny, kind of an artist. He made tech cool. Don't, don't think he is what Silicon Valley is. Silicon Valley is mostly tech nerds. Kids who grow up face buried in a screen, don't ask the pretty girl out, not cool or remotely hip. That's what Silicon Valley is. And now they're very rich. Steve Jobs was cool. Steve Jobs was good looking. Women love Steve Jobs. He was dashing and funny and artistic and creative and clever and everything Silicon Valley really truly isn't. Similarly with LeBron James, LeBron's created a mythology that the player's bigger than the team and the coach and the league and the logo, and it's just not. Remember, LeBron James is political. Kawhi's not. Harden. Giannis loves Milwaukee and never wants to leave. Charles Barkley's right about this. Ownership, general managers, the logo, the commissioner, they run the league. But about every decade, we get a player, Michael Jordan comes to mind, who is so great and so gifted, he alters the power balance briefly. But if LeBron retired tomorrow, who would be the next LeBron? Not just physically, emotionally, politically, there is none. Most NBA stars are much closer to Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant. They want to hoop it, have fun with their friends, girlfriend, family, or wife. Rinse and repeat. Steve Jobs is an outlier. LeBron's an outlier. And Charles Barkley, even though he blasted me, is right. Uh, good stuff today. Uh, Joy will have, after the break, the latest on Antonio Brown, which, if nothing else, is a, is a fun story for us to cover. And why Odell Beckham Jr. to the New England Patriots should be taken seriously. That's coming up. Did I tell you about a month ago? Remember I started talking about Butcher Box? I still have one piece of salmon left. A butcher box, clean eating, means food from the earth, organic and delicious. That's butcher box, delivered right to your door. Their meat's guaranteed to be humanely raised. No antibiotics or hormones ever. Butcher box beef is grass fed, grass finished. Chicken's organic and free range. Right now they have Bristol Bay, Alaska sockeye salmon. It's great. With cuts and quality, almost impossible to find in stores. Butcher box.